Hey guys, I'm Zach with The Hunting Public and today we're going to give you a few tips how to be more effective hunting from the ground. One of the things that we like to do, especially early season when we're trying to get close to where we think bucks are bedded, we like to set up on the ground. In a lot of whitetail habitat, deer are just simply not close to trees. They're bedding in CRP or just open or too thick areas in general to get a stand up. But the most important thing is cover. Today we're taking advantage of a thick fence row. There's hedge trees in here and some invasive species. There's autumn olive bushes, multi-floral rows, and it's just really thick along this edge and there's lots of shadow in here. When you're picking a spot to set up on the ground, you're looking for the same type of stuff that you would look for in picking a tree stand, kind of horizontal cover and vertical cover here in front of us. We've got this vertical cover by these two brushy types of vegetation. And then behind us, we've got a number of big tree limbs in the background that are just working as a backdrop and we're just hopefully gonna blend into the shadows back in here. Whether you're hunting on the ground, hunting out of a tree stand, or still hunting, thinking about cover as much as you can is gonna really help you out. Another important thing about setting up on the ground is practice drawing. No matter what tactic you're using while hunting, it's always important to practice draw. But I think a mistake that's easy to make is to set up and not realize that you're gonna draw and hit your bow into things in front of you, potentially snag your arrow on stuff, bump your arm into something, as you're drawing back. But if you practice draw multiple times, imagining different scenarios happening in front of you for the shot, then you're just gonna know exactly what position you need to be in when a deer starts to approach. Tonight, we got a lot of cover here, and we're gonna have to let a lot of the deer pass us, and they're gonna be quartering away, headed in that direction. At least that's the way we believe they're gonna be moving. So, in this setup, if a deer were to come from our left, I'm gonna be able to sit here behind this vegetation can just let him pass, get into the opening, wait till he's not looking, and just draw. And I have a hole right here. My bow's not gonna hit anything when I shoot. My arm's not bumping into anything. And if I need to lean out, I can lean out this direction, shoot further to the right, or even kind of hunch over and shoot down to the left. And just try a number of different things, just to make sure that when I draw, I'm gonna be able to be quiet and smooth. Hopefully just have to focus on putting a pin on the deer. As far as camouflaging yourself goes, we wear ghillie suits a lot of times. And the main reason we do that is because it just breaks up our head and our shoulders. And we feel like that allows us to get away with a lot more. If you don't have a ghillie or you don't want to deal with getting snagged with a ghillie, which is kind of a pain in the butt, I think just matching whatever type of habitat you're in. For example, if you're in dark timber, try to wear darker type camo, maybe a darker ghillie or something like that. If you're in CRP, probably wear something lighter. Hopefully those tips will help you out. We're going to hopefully see some deer moving through this little opening tonight. And we encourage you to get out there and try a little bit of ground hunting. It can be pretty effective, so get out there and give it a try, and good luck this fall.